Hey everyone, Exit Zach here for another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an application center with using Disco Bytes in the year 2022 to 2021 lifespan. Thank you so much. This has been my third video. I have always been flabbergasted by Disco Bytes technology. This is um. Uh, they have officially updated their UI, and it's very easy to use now, and I'm happy to show you. Very easy than my other methods. So, they just updated it today. Why don't we take a look? <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put this game link in the video description down below in this YouTube video, as well as our support Discord server for Disco Bytes. And to uh, basically use this and create your own application center. Let's click the three dots and click edit. If you have Roblox Studio installed, it will automatically prompt that open. That way you can obviously edit the game. Now, when I say it's very easy, it's so easy. You you, you basically have to edit a script now. You don't have to uh, go into the star GUI and manually edit yourself. So why don't we get started, shall we? This is the Warren GUI. You can remove this, but if you don't want to remove it, it's all right. It will automatically remove for you. I just want to say that really quick. Um, let's go to the Disco Bytes customizer, and basically in the script you can have you can change colors and questions, as as well as um, yeah, colors and questions in the cloud text, which is descending. Um, basically, when you submit an application, it will get it will say. Oh, thank you for submitting or something like that. So you can change that if you want to your custom up here. So for this tutorial, I'm going to make my app center, which is Moco Resort. Moco Resort App Center. There we go. It will say, hello, welcome to Moco Resort. So this is the title one and this is title two. Now let's edit our questions, shall we? But before I do, I don't want this video taking up a lot of time for you, so I'm going to pause this video really quick. Be right back. Okay, I'm officially done editing my questions for the Mocha Resort. Now, you can uh, change the background color if you would like. It cannot be in HTML format. It has to be in RGB format. So, you can still edit the background like the old-fashioned way in Disco Bytes. However, I highly recommend the Disco Bytes customizer because it's very easy doesn't take up too much time it, it it probably takes you like three or four minutes max well minimum at least to set up the application server in our old version of disco bytes this used to take 20, 10 to 15 minutes sometimes even an hour if you don't know what things are but it, really this is going to save you so much time and so much troubles so I will send an example of how we can change the colors in RGB format. Basically, we could go to a website, which I don't want to do. I want to do in the editor. Basically, what we can do is we can we could just see over here. This is the RGB format, not the HTML. So if I want to be blue, I can make it blue. However, I like this orange, so I'm going to make it orange. So. I know the first number is 255, 85, and 0 for the orange color. And this makes it so easy, folks. You'll love it. <laughs> and then for my button color, I will put it as... Why Why don't we just pick um this? It seems a little bit modern, so I'm going to pick that. 70, 170, 170... 255. Again, everyone, you could just, um, this is the RGB format right here. Now, I'm not using a website version because I, I could easily do this in Roblox. However, you do you. It should work. <laughs> now, now we have changed it officially, as you can see. Well, it's not, let's, uh, why don't we re revert it a little bit? There we go. Now, You'll see why I reverted it. Um, reason being why is because the script is already going to change it. So there's almost no point. So let's go to uh, server script service. And if you notice, we actually have basic admin essentials 2.0 in here. 
So if you would, if you, if there's a person in your game that you would like to send a message to, you can do that as well as other things in the basic admin essentials thing. So let's go to Cloud Hub. I recommend clicking the README script because if you're a new user to Discobytes, obviously, but if you're not, then you know what kind of you know what you know what you're doing. So let's go to a uh, Cloud Hub, shall we? Now you can list your band groups. This is a new. This is not a new feature. Now, let's set up our webhook. This is our default server webhook, but I don't want it to ping. <laughs> Obviously, the Discord. So, well, I mean, Disco Bytes Discord. I want to ping it in my Discord. So I'm going to show you how you can make your application uh, bot really quick. So you need to go on Discord. Go to your Discord server. Obviously, I have done this already, but might as well delete it again. Let's make a new channel called Applications, a text channel. I'm going to make sure that no one has access unless if they're an administrator. Go to Webhooks, create a webhook. I'm going to put this Moco Resorts App App. Um, Moco apps. Now I'm gonna blur this out, but because this is a Discord webhook, I don't want this to be, you know, easily accessible. So uh, I do not want to change the avatar right now at the moment. So I'm just going to click save, and you're just going to have to paste it in here. Step um, four is complete. Make sure HTTPS server uh, requests is on. We're going to go to publish. To Roblox as um, I'm going to update existing game actually. I'm going to update in Mocha Resorts Application Center. Let's override it, and boom, it's published. So now we can see it. So let's click to publish again to save our final changes, and let's click exit. And that's basically it. Now I'm going to show you really quick. The pinging feature which we implemented so give me one second so now here's the game and here's what it's going to look like <laughs> from all what we done as you can see look at the background orange color look at the buttons the color we put out and it, we didn't even have to change a single thing in the buttons we just had to edit in the script so how nice was that and look it even implemented it into the text box this is nice it's going to upload to the cloud really quick, and it should take 10 seconds. We should get a ping at any moment now. There we go. Thank you for applying. Good luck. We can leave the game. We should go to general, go to applications, and you can see your questions and what they have put. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial really quick. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, we are going to have our game link in the description below, as well as our um, Discord support team as well. So, really quick, before I do go, I want to make sure of something. That way, if you are new to this, you don't have to. You're not confused. It may show or appear that the bot is offline. Ignore it because. The reason why it might show the bot is offline is because it's going to it's waiting for people to submit an application. So it will appear online when someone um, submits an application. So I hope you loved this video tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.